Here's something that doesn't happen every day. An El Paso billionaire teams up with city leaders to renovate a historic downtown building that's been vacant for decades. And Paul Foster will get some major tax breaks to do it. It comes as many El Paso homeowners face higher than ever property tax bills because of skyrocketing home values. CBS 4 at 10's Giovanni Carrillo is live in the newsroom tonight to let us know how city leaders responded when he asked them about giving a billionaire tax breaks while local homeowners struggle to pay their taxes. Right, well, property tax rates in El Paso are some of the highest in the state, but still, the city of El Paso signed off on 20 years worth of tax breaks for a local billionaire, a deal city leaders insist will be good for the community. Because the more businesses that we draw in, the more that we are able to even out the number of businesses in our community that are able to provide mm -hmm. the taxes um, and reduce the burden. While inflation and rising home values squeeze Americans in El Paso and budget, the city is investing millions in downtown El Paso. Anything that may, that's going to make El Paso look good. City Council agreeing to give 20 years of property tax breaks worth $2 million to billionaire Paul Foster. In return, he promises to invest $18 million to renovate the historic Crest Building. But it'll be a lot of fun and, and I think generate a lot of excitement downtown. While some at Boswins agree in the vision for the project. Once it's open, it's going to be packed. They also tell me it's hard seeing their home values and likely their tax bills go up. While commercial property owners continue to receive tax breaks from local governments. Yeah, he's a billionaire. <clears throat> he's going to renovate the Cres, But he's making sure that he's going to get all his back and some. This, you know, billionaire is getting these in incentives, million dollars of in incentives. Um, you know, what, what message do you think that sends? So the, the uh, for example, today's example with the Crest building, mm -hmm. um, one of the things to take into consideration is that the property owner is actually investing over $18 million into the property himself. They said it's a give and take that will take years to balance out. A balance that Boswins hope comes sooner than later. What we had in the 20, 30 years back, it'd be nice if we could get them back. There are four other taxing entities here in El Paso. The city and those entities are expected to finalize a budget and a tax rate over the summer. For now, reporting from the newsroom, Giovanni Carrillo, CBS 4 at 10.